Canada's largest university facing cutbacks and changes. These are the consequences that come along with a flawed budget. Republican State Representative Matt Gress voted no on June's $16 billion budget, one that chair of the Senate Appropriations Committee, Republican John Kavanaugh, says eliminated a big deficit. We had a lot of areas that had to have cuts. We had a lot of projects that had to be pushed off for years. And we tried to distribute the, the pain as fairly and equally as possible. ASU leaders say the budget cuts are forcing them to put in place a tuition surcharge for on-campus students, close the Lake Havasu Center, cut the Arizona Teachers Academy by 800 students, and put 2,600 others at risk of losing scholarships through the Arizona Promise Program. It's unfortunate that the money wasn't there, but we're hoping the money comes back and we can restore the funding. The university's president says these moves reflect the government's lack of investment in higher education in our state. I think we should have taken an ax to a lot of this pork barrel spending um, versus going after some of these programs that are helping the most vulnerable. Representative Gress says he doesn't think this budget reflects the priorities of the state, but in the end, it passed with bipartisan support and opposition before the governor signed it. In a statement, Governor Katie Hobbs's office says facing a $1.8 billion deficit, the governor brought together a bipartisan majority to balance the budget without raising taxes. The statement goes on to say she's committed to partnering with ASU. And that tuition surcharge will start in the spring and will be $350 for full-time students on campus and prorated for part-time students. While the Lake Havasu Center is scheduled to close after this school year, we talked with the mayor of Lake Havasu City who says he found out about this closure just minutes before the news went public this morning. We'll hear from him coming up tonight at 10. For now in the newsroom, Zach Perlutsky for Arizona's Family. Zach.